Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men confidently approach women to find the woman of their dreams. Now, gentlemen, I want to thank you for tuning in today. Today's subject matter is about human behavior and why we respond the way we do, or in fact, the way our spouses do, or our girlfriends, or women for that matter, or any human on this planet for that matter. Here's what we're gonna to do today, guys, is I'm gonna teach you the difference between the subconscious and the conscious mind. And we're gonna talk about why we respond the way we do. In some cases, so haphazardly that you might even ask yourselves, why did I say that? Why did I do that? What the heck's going on? Have you ever done that? I can tell you this, after being in so many relationships, I do know that people respond the way they do because they've been pre-programmed to do this. So let's do this. Let's dive into the sciences, why we do the things we do that seem so illogical. Okay, first guys, I wanna say this, that scientists say the computer, today's computer, has been designed specifically around the human mind. And I've got to tell you guys, they're absolutely right. So I want you all to think back. The last time I purchased a computer, hmm, it was pre-programmed. And it has some software on there. But let's just say that you use a specific program, or whether it's fun, could be a game, or whether it's for work, like chat and you need to download that onto your computer and then once it's downloaded there you can play with it you know that it responds and acts a certain way personally i love excel and i love to put formulas in there and watch how they interact with all the different cells so we pre-program this computer so that it acts certain ways when we trigger it with keystrokes well guess what gentlemen our subconscious mind is programmed the exact same way. So let's get into the subconscious and the conscious. And let's just look at that really quickly so you understand why I'm talking about the subconscious mind. So Sigmund Freud, about a little over 100 years ago, found that there was a big difference between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. Now, guys, for the purpose of this conversation, we're going to talk just about the conscious and the subconscious mind we're gonna put away and aside all the semantics about whether it's an unconscious or a subconscious or a pre-conscious. There's one thing about psychology guys is that not everybody agrees with one thing. They all have their own ideas. But today I'm gonna to talk about the subconscious mind and the conscious mind for this particular exercise. So there's one thing that professional behavioral sciences do agree with is that the subconscious mind is between 50,000 and 500,000 times more powerful than the conscious mind. Hmm. You say, okay, so what, Patrick? What does that have to do with the slice of bread? What does that have to do with the price of tea in China? What does that have to do with the way us humans behave? Well, guys, it's very, very simple. Let's look at the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind starts forming when us humans are in the womb and it lives until we are dead. And it's always awake. When you sleep, your subconscious mind is churning and churning and churning. It's doing its thing. It will do this the rest of your life. And if we look at the history of the subconscious mind in every one of us humans, it's the first 10 years of our lives from the moment we are born until approximately 10 years old and our subconscious mind is pre-programmed. And it's pre-programmed by one, perhaps maybe brothers and sisters that are older than you that raised you, school teachers, principals, maybe even the neighbors, anybody that has influence over this child's subconscious mind will influence and start programming that mind to act just like the program you downloaded onto your computer. There's certain keys that you click and there's certain things that the program does. 
exactly the way our subconscious mind works in a relationship. One of the keys to this, guys, is to know and to understand that emotions, the trait of our own human emotions, are housed in the subconscious mind. So as an example, if you were trained to cluck like a chicken, clack, 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 because your subconscious mind was programmed that every time I snap my fingers, you clucked like a chicken. That's your subconscious mind taking over, taking control of your behavior when there's a trigger. Simple, yes? Okay, now let's look at relationships. Look at, you're in a relationship. Maybe girlfriend had her been dating for two or three months. You guys are getting a little serious. You're having dinner at each other's house a couple of times a week, maybe sleeping over, and you're getting a little bit more emotionally attached. And then you're having a conversation and she just goes off like a chicken clucking. You go, wait a minute, what did I say? What did I do? Why is she angry at me? Well, guys, it's because again, she's been pre-programmed to act that way because her subconscious mind hears the snap of the fingers and starts clucking like a chicken. And guess what? We do the same thing. We humans, every human on this planet does the same thing. Now, guys, the reason why I'm talking about how she's reacting is because it's a lot easier for us humans to see the behavior in somebody else as opposed to ourselves. So here's the keys to the kingdom, guys. Here's the keys that's going to unlock the door to your own human behavior, as well as your understanding about why women act and do the things they do. As I mentioned, our subconscious mind is powerful beyond belief. I mean, 500 times more powerful than the conscious mind, which means it's gonna control everything we do almost every day. So when we're triggered, we will act a certain way and you'll scratch your head going, why the heck did I act like that? Why did I say that? What am I doing? That's not what I wanted. That's not even what I wanted to say happens guys you know what happens i know what happens and it especially happens when we're emotionally charged with another human being so what's the answer you say that's it. what the heck's the answer well here it is guys first just be aware of how powerful your subconscious mind is and and the things that you do every day and notice that when somebody triggers something when somebody snaps their fingers and you start clucking like a chicken just notice that okay, my subconscious mind was pre-programmed to do that. Hmm. So what we're going to have to do is consciously become aware of our behavior. So hard. The conscious mind is so weak. It almost has zero power. It can't behave and it can't cause us to behave in certain ways unless we consciously are aware of it and consciously change that behavior. It takes a lot of strength from our conscious mind to do that because the subconscious mind is so powerful. So guys, I really hope that this has helped you understand how we can have better communications, better relations with the women of our dreams or with whoever you're dating right now. And please know that their subconscious mind has been pre-programmed to respond the way they do and it's not our fault. At the same time, your subconscious mind has been pre-programmed the way you are and allowing you to behave the way you do. And that is your fault. This is where we here in Mental Awareness Month can start being more conscious about how we behave and what we say to other people. And we can get more of what we want. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget, to, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Some great videos on there that you can learn how to behave better, how to have a great relationship with the woman of your dreams. We'll see you in the next video.